Hi everyone, I am live, I think. I'm just trying to check to make sure I am live. I am. There we go, I am live. So today I am, well, first of all, I should introduce myself, shouldn't I? My name's Tracy Gilder. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator uh, from Melbourne in Australia. Today I'm going to be looking at the Snowflake Splendor uh, Suite, which is beautiful, and that is from our current mini catalogue. So um, bear with me, I am actually trying the um, Switcher Studio um, app for the first time for this live to see how that goes. So hopefully I don't have any technical issues i still can't see my live on my laptop i was hoping i could see that to see any questions or comments that people have let me see if i can find it while everyone's coming in Oh, there we go. There we go. Found it. So I should be able to see any comments now if um, there are any. Hopefully. Okay, so the um, I'll switch the view. Uh, where are we? Okay, so here is the mini catalogue um, that we have current and that runs to the end of December. So on page 37, voila, we have this beautiful suite, the Snowflake Splendor Suite. Um, so for the three cards that I'm making today, I'm going to be trying to use all of the products that's in this suite so you can get a really good idea of what it looks like and um, yeah it is absolutely beautiful so I will show you the cards that I'm going to create today so the first one is this card which is a gatefold card so we pull this little banner off and we open it up so I've noticed that a lot of people are scared to do what they call fancy fold cards, but really once you have everything cut and embossed, it's really easy to put together. So that is the first one that I'll be making. <clears throat> Excuse me. The second one is this one. It's another fancy fold, but again, once everything's cut and folded, it is really, really easy to make. So we open this up here. And this beautiful ribbon. And it opens up like that. Now because you see so much of this card, I actually put the DSP on the back as well. Um, I just don't like seeing the plain um, cardstock on the back. But... If you're making it, it's up to you if you wanted to add that or leave it off. But I, I like it. And I love this balmy blue shimmy, shimmer paper. Yeah, I can't talk. Shimmer paper. And watch me try and do this up. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and the last card is this card here. I love layers, so you will see when I make cards, I love layers. And I just had to add this shimmery paper, glitter paper in again because it's just beautiful. And look, it's just a basic, easy card. So we will finish off with that one. So for today, I've actually uh, pre-cut and embossed everything to save time. 
but I will show you before I start creating. This is the stamp set that it comes with. Um, I love how it's Christmas, but it's also friendship sentiments in there. A thank you. Um, thank you so, so much. It's so gorgeous. Uh, if you hear any background noise, my two dogs are not happy and they've been put outside while I do this video because if they see someone walking past, they would probably bark and you wouldn't be able to hear a thing. So, yes, this is a beautiful stamp set. It comes in the clear polymer like that. It's gorgeous. So we'll be using that. I use this uh, embossing folder, it might be a bit hard for you to see, but the beautiful snowflakes that it embosses is gorgeous. And lastly, uh, the dies that I label everything. Um, this is the beautiful dies that I'll be using. I'll be using this one for two of the cards for the sentiment. Um, so yeah, and the paper. Now, all my paper is always cut up the minute I got it to the largest size that I put on cards. So this is why, but look at this paper. How gorgeous is that paper? Just beautiful. And look, so many different designs, colors. My favorite colors are in here, the blues, the purples. So this set was one that I just had to have because it was just the perfect colours for me. All right, so move to the first card. So for today, um, I will have the measurements up on my blog tomorrow. Um, obviously, I'll add this video to my blog and all the measurements so you don't have to worry about um, listening to the measurements, I will tell you what they are, but you don't have to worry about um, writing them down or anything, so you can check that out later. Okay, so everything is already here. You can see here where I've embossed this DSP, and you can see those beautiful snowflakes on there. So just love that. And we'll fancy that up a bit in a minute. All right, so my little die cuts have already cut out three of the snowflakes um, Pacific Point, Gorgeous Grape, and Pool Party, I believe. Um, again, all the colours, all the sizes will be on my blog tomorrow. So here's the card base. So the card base is, we work in, in Australia in A4 cardstock. So it's basically um, our cardstock cut in half, which is 14.9 uh, centimetres by 20. 21 centimeters yes 21 centimeters so create the card oh hang on this is the last one no it's not I've got the wrong pack out no I haven't that's all right I'm going bonkers I think I might have put the wrong card stock no I didn't okay don't worry about me so what I need is to Get my trimmer and score. <clears throat> so for this card we score, get my blade up there so I don't do it. Five and where's my measurements? I've got my measurements beside me. 5.25 centimeters. Okay, score. Turn it around and the same this end, 5.25, get it straight, and there we go. So now we just fold, finish, fold, 
and burnish. Okay, so that is done ready. So now we'll get to the band. So the band that we had on the card here is for this. So the Knight of Navy layer is 23 and a half centimetres by four centimetres. And the top layer is 23 centimetres by three and a half centimetres. So all I do is glue that layer on because me, I can't just have one layer because that's just me. So I just stick that on like that. Now I need to get my trimmer back to score again. <coughs> Now, to score this, we score it six centimeters one inch, turn it around and score it six and a half centimeters the other end. Put that aside. So now, a little bit thicker, so it's a bit harder to pull over. Finish that and see now we've got a nice join there so I just glue that down oh my glue is running out there we go just a little bit of glue stick and hold it then I get these out of the way these three layers I've cut out. Now you can use any three that you like. I just liked these particular ones. So I just put a little dab of the multi, oh, if I can get it out, I'll have to get a new one soon. And I just put it off center so you can see it in between. Let me get this nice little delicate one. And then I sort of went off center again of that one. All right, now I've got my blue adhesive back gem that I've just put on in the middle, just to add a bit of bling. There we go, and now we just stick that. To cover up this messy bit here, don't need to see that. And I don't like things sort of straight. Okay. And there we go. So that bit is done already. Easy. Then we come back to. I think my measurements in scoring was out because that should be meeting. I'll just double check. Of course, this goes perfectly when you try it not live. Oh, did I cut this the right length? Yes, I must have. Ah, that's the problem. I've cut my card stock wrong. Alright. Another one. So today. Okay, cut 14.9. Easy. Need that trimmer back again, silly me. Alright. Oh, 
finger in the way of the blade. Oh, look, now I'm bleeding. Right, 5.25. Oh yeah. Five point two five. Oh my finger. Look. This would only happen on live, won't it? Oh Lordy. <coughs> Hopefully, this switch out. Ah, my finger keeps bleeding. Stop it. It's not going to be a good look with my blood. That's better. Look at that. It meets. It helps when you have your base card the right measurement, doesn't it? Oh, all right. Stop bleeding, finger. So there we go. All right. So now the two strips that I have here and my finger is going to have to be hold for a minute. Sorry about this. Okay. So these strips are um, 14.4. Where is my measurement? by 4.8 there we go 14.4 by 14.8 and like I said I embossed these earlier to save time um, hopefully my finger has stopped bleeding no it hasn't right so simple just glue it down You're really going to have to excuse my finger that's decided to bleed. Oh dear, I can't believe I did that. How clumsy of me, but that is me. Now I'm going to try and not let that finger touch anything. All right, now finger, cooperate because I need to use you to colour in. Okay, so now I'm going to use some stamping blends just to add a bit of colours to make some of these snowflakes pop out. Oh my God, my finger. Look at that. You would not pick any other time to do this. Jesus. I might even have to rush in a minute to get a Band-Aid if this doesn't stop. Okay. So what I quickly did was just Oh, you real I hope nobody hates the side of blood. I'm so sorry. Oh. No, look, I'm going to have to get a band-aid. Sorry, I'll be back in two seconds.
Okay, back. Sorry, sorry about that. Hopefully that gets that under control. Right, now, as I was saying, quickly colour a couple of these in just to add some colour. And for some reason, I cannot see comments. So, where does that word come from? Stop. So I am sorry, I am still new at this live thing, but COVID, you know, we've got to go with the times. Still training, learning everything that I need to. Technology, I knew if something was going to go wrong today, it would because practice went perfect. I'm wondering if I've got another cup there. Oh dear. So you don't need to worry too much about being fussy. The stamping blend just goes over it so easy. I like to use this tip. They do have two tips. I, for some reason, get this ugh, feeling when I use... Oh, look, I do have another cut. Oh, my Lord. I am going to have to get another Band-Aid. Sorry. Okay, live class on how not to use your trimmer. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've got some done there. Ah, that's the end I was showing I don't like. It feels bleh to me, honestly. I cannot use the other end. another one here so I'm just putting at the top and the bottom because obviously that band covers the middle but only you're doing a couple just to highlight these beautiful snowflakes there you go I'll do one more here I'm going to try and speed these up a bit since I've wasted so much time having to band-aid myself. I'll use Light Highland Heather just as a contrast. And so easy, so quick to put on. Alright, another one up here. Oh, and by the way, excuse the COVID hair. I haven't been able to go to a hairdresser since January this year. So um, if I cut off my ponytail right now, I think I'd be a pure grey. But I'll get there eventually. My hairdresser has just opened up apparently, but she's booked out till December already. So great. So me being me, wasn't just happy with just these being coloured in. I love a bit of shimmer and glimmer. So I've got these shimmery crystal effects. Now this may not come up. I'll just squeeze the first bit out. Come on. This may not come out on the camera very well because I know when we take photos with this does not come out and it's unfortunate because it's such beautiful shimmer and you just can't see it on photos which is a shame I'm really going to have to ask my 
demonstrator friends how I get comments up when I'm live because I cannot I can see my live but I cannot see comments I don't know what I'm doing wrong but like I said learning journey can't improve unless we make mistakes on the way oh I've gone weak with my fingers all bandaged up There's my doggies in the background. Come on, fingers, work. It would have to be my main hand that I use, wouldn't it? There we go. Squeeze a bit out. Spread it around. Squeeze a bit out. Round we go. See, I don't really think that's coming up. Sorry, bring it closer. Yeah, you kind of can see the sparkle and shimmer that's happening there. Okay, quick, 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 we finish this off. Maybe in hindsight, I shouldn't have said I was going to do three cards today because. Should have known that something disaster would happen. Oh well. So as I said before, all the measurements will be up on my blog. So my blog is uh, tracygilder.com. So that I'll finish that off tonight and it will be up and ready for you to see tomorrow. <clears throat> so I will just leave that for a moment to dry. So I've got this scrap bit of Whisper White here and I have a random embellishment that I have. I don't know about you when you're crafting, but you end up with embellishments everywhere. Actually anything and everything everywhere in the desk. You usually spend most of your time searching for the something that you just had in your hands. So I'm going to stamp the Snowflake Wishes for a Merry Christmas. Um, I think it's that one. Yes. <clears throat> Stamping block. Now, a tip to get these, know that you're going to stamp straight. This is why we love the Stamping Up grid paper. So... I can make sure that that is straight on that and then we just put the block on top and pick it up and there we go so I'm stamping in beautiful misty moonlight Now where's my cleaner? These are the best things, the chamois, to clean off your stamps. You just leave it moist in a stamping case and it's beautiful. Occasionally you need to just re-wet it a little bit, but honestly it's the best thing ever. <laughs> what did I say about looking for things? There we go. Put the stamp back so I don't lose it. Close that because I'll put my hand in it. Beautiful. So now I get my mini trimmer, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to trim closely around to the sentiment. Oh, you feel so clumsy with band-aids on fingers but that's me clumsy okay, scraps out of the way so then I'm gonna do 
was put the sentiment down here. I oh, probably should have coloured another snowflake there. I might put it about there. So I'll put some glue. Okay, time for new glue. Always have a backup of your glue. And the other thing I use tons of is stamping dimensionals. I don't know about you, but I love them because I love layers. Love layers. Okay. Now on my original card, I did... Oh, that's still a bit wet. I did put some of the... Um, shimmery effects on the sentiment but I won't for this one because I've wasted enough time already so we'll go to the center so I chose these two pieces to put here because favorite colors how gorgeous so just simply glue them down put on your glue work there we are And you don't need much of the glue for it to stick. Then I've got my whisper light for the sentiment. So this layer is 14.4, no, yes, 14.4 by 10. Ah, sticking the shimmers down. All right, now for the inside sentiment, because I've had sparkles. May your season sparkle, how appropriate is that and I think that's that one yep now I'll do the same thing line up the words so they're straight put my block on and this one stamp gorgeous great Clean off my stamp. All right. Now, for the other card, I put just a couple of snowflakes in there just to add some prettiness. Oops. I think this one in Pacific Point this time. And the other one I use Coastal Cabana Okay. 
voila so after a very disastrous start injuring myself this card is completed so when people think fancy fold cards are really difficult honestly it's really simple once you have the measurements once you know where to score it's very easy and we put the band over and there's the finished product how lovely is that simple all right so we'll move on to the next card which is the second fancy fold so this one <clears throat> Again, I've pre-scored my base card stop just to save time. You don't need to watch me doing that. So I've got all my bits cut out. My little embellishment for later. So oh, there's another one. No more. Oh, I've bent my little snowflake. There we go. So that's for the sentiment. <clears throat> This will go on top of that, so I will give you measurements shortly. So the base is the length of our A4 cardstock, which is 29.7 centimetres by 14.9 centimetres in width. So I score at... Let me get to my other piece of paper. I should remember I've done this a thousand times, but okay, so we score at ten and a half centimeters, then eighteen centimeters, and then twenty five and a half centimeters. So once it's scored, <clears throat> I just fold over the big one first, get my little bone folder. Turn it around and go back and fold down. Then turn it around again and fold over. Easy as that, we have a tri-fold card, which opens up like that. So it looks difficult, but it's actually not. Once you have the measurements, it's really, really easy. So then we just start adding, uh, which I think I'll add that one there. This one I'll put on the back. So this layer is 14.4 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So I'll just glue that down. Oh, I've grabbed the old glue. Oh well, there's still more in it. Still more life in here, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Get the new one. So I do apologize if anyone's making comments. I can't see them. I have tried and I don't know what I've missed, but hopefully next Facebook Live, which I've actually booked in every month now, um, I've booked in Facebook Live, so I have no excuse anymore. I'm not going to put it off. I'm going to do it because that's what we need to do. We need to communicate, especially at this time that we're going through. So that layer is on. The next layer is a whisper white layer for the sentiment here. This layer is 14.4 centimetres. Where is it? Where is it? I've written it down here and I can't see it. 14.4 by, uh, 14 by 7 centimetres. That's it. Then we just simply glue this one down as well. Some people like to stamp their sentiments first before sticking down because, you know, you can make a boo-boo and mess up your stamping 
Um, but for this video, I'm just going to put it down and we'll see what happens. Go with the flow. I think maybe that one next, which is the same size, 14.4 by 7 centimetres. Oh, my doggies are whining. They're not used to being kicked out. <laughs> Poor things. They will survive. And which side? Ah, that side. Beautiful. I love this paper. So this one's, again, 14.4 centimetres by 3.7 centimetres. And I can thank my team member, Anna Hans. She was the one that actually worked out the measurements for this. I've just stolen it from her. Um, now we share. We share everything. But the measurements are perfect. <clears throat> there we go. Inside of the card is done, except I'll stamp the sentiment in a minute. So then before I put on the top layer, I'll grab one of my pieces of ribbon that I have cut and I'll use some mini glue dots to put it down somewhere around what I think is the middle, mini glue dots. These are the best things ever. But, I don't know if anyone else uses these, but they end up everywhere because I don't store them in the box. But they do. They end up absolutely stuck to everything. But I love them. Let me stick it to me. Such not a good look with my fingers like this. I s apologize for my clumsiness. Okay, and simply stick it down like that. That way we can hide this bit here with the layer of DSP, which I left this beautiful balmy glimmer paper for the top because you got to love the bling. <clears throat> and then it usually goes over the top. Oops. And then you're hiding that messy bit underneath. Beautiful. Okay. So for the back, same thing. Hmm. Hmm. Choices. I might do that. Or should I do that? Oh, decisions. Hmm. If I had comments up, I could ask your opinion and you could give me your opinion. So, next time, next time. This one. So these are the same measurements as obviously that was on the front. And like I said, you don't have to put the DSP on the back, but because it's such a big card, if someone's sort of sitting it up like that on display, you see so much of the back and I just don't like seeing the bland back. Now again, before I put this on, I will find my other ribbon. Here we go. Thought I lost it for a second. More glue dots. Try and get pretty much lined up with the other one. So around about there. Does it matter if it's not perfectly lined? No one will notice.
Ah, sticking to it. There we go. And just stick it down. And now we cover the mess. There we go, down we go. <clears throat> so now we're just up to the sentiments. So that's what it looks like so far. It's the back of the card when it's closed. So I've got this bit, which is 10 centimeters by 6.7 centimeters. And what I did is I used the die cut That die cut right here to cut this out and then I just trimmed just leaving a little bit around this edge here where the nice stitch shape is and then about half a centimeter each side um, <clears throat> to give a beautiful frame for a sentiment so I'll just glue that down Okay. And the good thing with Tombow is that you have a tiny bit of wiggle room before Oh, I have glue everywhere. Now I've got the scrap piece of Whisper White here for the sentiment and I'll use Coastal Cabana and we will put on the front May Your Season Sparkle. <coughs> oh, excuse me. it nice and straight there we go voila And people do comment sometimes um, that I'm shaking. Is everything okay? I just have a natural shake. So it is nothing to worry about. Inherited that off my father. He has the same thing. It's just something that's always happened. So it's all good. Okay, so then I just trimmed the ends. Oops, I better close this. I know what I'll do. Just trim the edges off. Be a little bit more. There we go. And then I just get a bit of Pacific Point. And a sponge dauber that conveniently fits on the end of your finger. And just lightly dab around the edge just to give that nice subtle color so we just don't have plain sentiment there we go Put that back. 
close this. <clears throat> so then all I do is put some glue on this and then just try and center it. There we go. And then all I did was glue it to this side here. So down. Yeah, that looks about the centre. The glue dries clear so we don't have to worry about any bits coming out. And then just for the ribbon, I just add a couple of more mini glue dots along here just to stick that ribbon down. Just give it a bit more Stability. Here we go, stuck down. And there it is. Now all we've got to do is the sentiment inside and a couple of embellishments um now the sentiment for inside now what did i use on the other one ah yes so i'm going to use uh in the coldest moments of the year my heart is warm because you're near and that's this one thing looking for something I just had <laughs> there is my stamping block there it is found it now line them up straight again and I'll stamp it with Specific point. Round about the center. And there we go. Clean that off. <clears throat> Done. Now we just add some embellishments to the front. Now the general rule I've been told is three embellishments or groups of three is what you need to do for balance and for, I don't know. And that one. And there we go card is complete sentiment and we're hiding the 
ugliness of where the ribbon is joined and I think that is a beautiful Christmas card to send to someone and then we just oh my god this is hard to do with clumsy band-aids this is not going to be the best bow that I have ever tied And there we go. Trifold card, not that difficult. Once you've got the fold done and cut out the pieces, it's just not not as hard as people think. All right, so now onto the last card. So all my bits cut out. So again, this card base is um, the A4 cut in half. And again, measurements will be on my block. And just fold it in half, finish away. Oh. Okay, so first layer, wisp or white which is 14.4 by 10 centimetres. Hopefully I pre-cut these correctly. Yep. Then next layer of beautiful balmy blue oh. Glimmer paper and this is 13.9 by 9.5 centimetres and then for this sentiment now I have to look up these measurements I do not know off my head. So this one is 12.4 centimetres by 8 centimetres. And this one is 12.1 centimetres by 7.7. .7. Again, don't have to remember that. So again, for a nice sentiment, using the beautiful DSP, but still having the white so I can stamp the sentiment there now we're just gluing that down quickly there she goes now this one i made a thank you card Thank you so, oh no, thank you so much. <laughs> Cute. Now, make sure we get it straight. On the block at least. After that, who knows what will happen. And now what did I stamp this one? I stamped this one Pacific Point. I had a thing for Pacific Point yesterday when I was coming up with these card designs <laughs> all right let's see beautiful I love that color Bermuda Bay and Pacific Point is kind of at loggerheads of which is my favorite color So then I had to do one card using stamping dimensionals because usually every single card I make has stamping dimensionals. So look away now if you don't like to use a lot of stamping dimensionals because I use a lot. 
only because um, I liked it, when it's joined to a sentiment especially and if you think if you're posting it it needs to survive the mail service so I kind of like it to be stable and not being able to be sort of pushed down in the middle and like I said I use a lot And then there's less chance of that being kind of squished when it's been sent in the mail. And then you end up with all these back bits all over my house too. I found one in my bedroom yesterday. I don't know honestly how it got there. Which is the other end of this house so it must stick to me. Pull them all off. Centre-ish. There we go. Let's push those aside for now. Now, where did my ribbon go? Now, this is going to be a challenge. Tying a tiny bow with my fingers like this. It may or may not work. <laughs> oh, I'm all thumbs and fingers. Yeah. No. All right. This is going to take a couple of goes. Ah, come on. Finger work. Nope. I'm not the best in the best of times at tying bows, but I had two fingers covered in band-aid. Not good. All right. Oh, now I've frayed it. I'm afraid I frayed it. Where's my scissors? There we go. My clumsiness. Humbleness. Okay, it's not the best bow ever, but it's going to do. It's going to do. And then I just use my mini glue dots, and I have got things everywhere now. So if you are, anyone is commenting, I will reply after this when I can actually see the comments. Next time will be better. Oh, that is really not a very good bow. Anyway, now, where did my embellishments go? Ah, there's two in the bag still. I need a third one. It's disappeared. No, they're not there. They're down here. I have things everywhere. There we go. <clears throat> so I'll put one now. Third one there. That's good. Now I didn't really think kind of any of these would suit just a general thank you card. So normally I put a sentiment inside, but when I kind of can't find one that suits, I just leave it blank. Um, so this by 14.4 by 10 on the inside and because I was leaving it blank I just cut a strip of the beautiful glimmer paper 14.4 by 2 centimeters I believe that was just to pretty it up because it's 
I don't like boring. Can't do boring. Yeah, we just stick that down on there. And there we go. Three cards finished and look, I set for two o'clock on nearly on time. And that's a bit crooked, oh dear. So third card, easy peasy. So three cards in one hour for me, that's a miracle. So two of those. Where's the other one? There it is. And this one, I really like this one. I just like, you know, that you could hide something in there, like a gift card or something for Christmas. I think that's really cute. Gatefold and beautiful shimmer. And there, so let me know what you think. Also, because I have booked in uh, Facebook Live every month from now on, um, You'll see in my events that I've already got dates booked in. I'm hoping this time slot suits people. If not, um, and you're watching this in replay, let me know what kind of time slot would suit you. I'm happy to change that. Um, if, um, you know, there's a more suitable time that you would be able to watch. And any suggestions of what you'd like to see next time? Um, Liz Walsh, uh, shout out to you. She uh, requested that this um, snowflake splendor um, be looked at uh, today so did that for you Liz and yeah if you have any suggestions or comments or whatever I will try and get technology worked out much better and I can put that back just to me now and I will hopefully not injure myself next time can't believe I did that but I knew something would happen when you go live and um, yeah thank you for joining in for those of you that watched live unfortunately I couldn't see comments Ugh. but I will ask my demonstrator friends how they do that but at least I've got hopefully this side of things with switcher worked you can still see my face but you don't need to see my face all the time. You basically want to see what you're crafting, I think, anyway. If not, let me know. If you want my face out of there completely because you just don't need to see that, let me know and I'll change it up. Um, thank you for watching. Again, all the um, instructions, sizes, all the products that you need uh, for this will be on my blog, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, so tracygilder.com thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you next month and remember to put any suggestions in the comments of what you'd like to see next month I would um, love to have your ideas and happy to uh, produce any cards that you um, may want to do or if you've seen a, a special technique or a another fancy fold that you'd like to see done let me know and I'll try and do my best to um, show you next time so thank you for joining and we'll see you next time until then bye